You know, I had never even heard the word tight lining until I started watching YouTube about five or six years ago. And I was sold on the look immediately. I loved how tight lining gave the eyes more definition and made the eyelashes look thicker. But trying to figure out how to do it was another story altogether. I just could not get the hang of the techniques that I saw my favorite YouTubers demonstrating. So today we are going to do tight line 101 for beginners. I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons. I'm going to do some product recommendations, but most importantly, I am going to share with you and demonstrate a very simple, easy, and fast tight lining technique that anyone can master. So if that sounds fun to you, throw this video a thumbs up and we are going to jump into it right now. First of all, what is tight lining anyway? Tight lining is a makeup technique where we are applying eyeliner pigment to the area just under the upper lash line or just above the lower lash line. This area is commonly referred to as the tight line area or the waterline area, but the actual medical term for this area is mucocutaneous border. Tight lining can be done on the upper lash line, it can be done on the lower lash line. My personal preference is to apply eyeliner, tight liner, to only the upper lash line because I feel like by accentuating my upper lash line, my upper eye area, it gives my eye a little bit of a lift and I find that tight lining my lower lash line or applying too heavy of an eyeliner on my lower lash line can drag my eye down. I have a whole video on that topic which I will link in the description box below. Why a tight line? Well, the reason that I personally enjoy tight lining is it gives my eye really nice definition without using up precious lid space. As we grow older and our upper eyelid gets a little bit saggy and it actually makes our mobile eyelid shrink a little bit as we grow older. So I feel personally if I apply an eyeliner above my lash line that is actually taking up that precious lid space making my eyes look smaller. But by tight lining, applying the eyeliner under the lash line, it gives me definition without using precious lid space. And the other reason I absolutely love the tight lining technique is it really makes your eyelashes look much thicker and fuller. So those are the pros. It gives the eye definition without taking up precious lid space and makes the eyelashes look thicker and fuller. Tight lining cons. Number one, tight lining can be a very challenging makeup technique to master. I definitely struggled to tight line for a very long time, but in a few minutes, I am going to show you a very easy, fast, and simple technique that I think you will enjoy. But before we get to that, a couple of more cons or potential side effects that you should be aware of. Tight lining can definitely irritate your eyes. Think about it. We are applying makeup pigment really directly next to our eyeball, okay? So if you are sensitive to the pigment in the pencil, you can get some irritation. Another potential side effect of tight lining is it can exacerbate dry eyes. I saw a video by Dr. Rupa Wong. She is an ophthalmologist. I am going to link her video below because she explains it very, very well. But in a nutshell, the reason tight lining can exacerbate dry eye is because that mucocutaneous border, what we refer to as the tight line area or the water line area, actually contains some tiny little oil glands and these oil glands secrete oil into our tears which helps to lubricate our eyes. So by tight lining applying pigment on top of those oil glands you can potentially block the oil glands reducing lubrication of the eye, right? That doesn't sound very good. Dr. Rupa Wong explains all of this in much more detail including she shows actual photographs of those tiny tiny little oil glands in the mucocutaneous border. So I really do recommend you watch that video, which I will link below. Even with the potential side effects of tight lining, Dr. Rupa Wong herself does tight line her own eyes, so it can be a very safe technique. Best products for tight lining. I personally only use eye pencils to tight line, but I have seen some other people here on YouTube use uh, gel eyeliner with a brush, sometimes even eyeshadow. But again, I personally only use eye pencils to tight line. 
And the type of pencil that you are really looking for is a pencil that's not too hard, not too waxy. You want a pencil that is creamy enough to deposit pigment easily without too much rubbing and pulling. But it also needs to be a fairly long lasting formula since it is on that mucocutaneous border, which is a moist border, which is really a little bit tricky to get makeup to adhere to. I have a couple of product recommendations to share with you. For the first year of my YouTube channel, I could not stop talking about these Physician Formula Shimmer Strips Eye Pencil Trio. It actually comes in a trio with a black, a dark brown, and a medium brown. I never use black eyeliner, period, so I always give that away. But I really did like the fact that it was affordable and it came with a medium brown and it came with a light brown. These pencils are retractable, which I also like. And like I said, it comes with a dark brown and a lighter brown. I would use this dark brown on my tight line and this light brown on my lower lash line. And I did that for a very long time. Like I said, I talked about the Physician Shimmer Strips on my channel for a very long time for tight lining and eye lining. They're creamy, they are long lasting, they are affordable, but they became almost impossible to find easily in store. I could no longer find them in store at Target, Walgreens, anywhere. Currently, I think you can only find them online at Physicians Formula website and certainly on Amazon. The price fluctuates quite a bit as they get more and more difficult to get a hold of, so they're not always as affordable as they used to be. Luckily, about nine months ago, I started using L'Oreal La Liner. I have it in three shades. I have it in the dark brown, I have it in a gray tweed, and I have it in a navy. I love these eyeliners. They're very affordable. They're easy to find in store anywhere, Target, Walgreens, Ulta, as well as online. They're creamy and they're long lasting. So here are the colors that I have. This is the Physician Formula Dark Brown, the Physician Formula Light Brown. This is the L'Oreal Dark Brown, that is called Brown Denim. This is the L'Oreal Gray, Gray Tweed. This is the L'Oreal Navy. Sometimes I really do enjoy tight lining with a navy color because that can really make the whites of your eyes sparkle. And I thought I would just throw in my uh, Sephora Collection Shimmering Taupe I don't use that for tight lining, but I wanted to show you how it compared to the Physician Formula light brown color. I really do enjoy using either the lighter color on the Physician's Formula or the Shimmering Taupe on my lower lash line, not to tight line, but just to give a very soft lower lash line definition without dragging my eyes down. So anyway, those are the products that I use every single day to tight line my lashes. I'm sure there's lots of great products for tight lining. So if you have an eye pencil that you absolutely love for tight lining, please share it in the comment box. We can all learn from each other. All right, now it is time to talk about tight lining technique. Tight lining technique. Like I said, it took me a long time to master a tight lining technique. The usual techniques that I was seeing on YouTube just didn't work for me. I would see ladies look up and then just do that, one, two, three. I could not do that. First of all, anytime I got this close to my eye, I would blink, my eyes would water. I, I just couldn't do it. It did not work for me. Some people can do that, boom, 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 not me. And then the other technique I saw ladies do is they would lift up their eyelid like that and then do it. Oh, I just don't like doing that, first of all. If you have eyeshadow on, I certainly don't want to touch my eyeshadow and ruin it. And second of all, I don't like stretching my eyelid like that. And third of all, again, by holding my eye open, my eye would just water and I would see this pencil come and I would blink, even though I was holding my eyelid open. So the usual techniques that I was seeing on YouTube really didn't work for me. I could not get the hang of it. So I am going to scoot in and show you a technique that works for me. It does take a little bit of practice, but once you have it down, it is definitely simple, fast, and easy. So I'm gonna scoot forward. All right, we are up close and personal. I have a little mirror here. I'm gonna try and keep it out of camera. But what I do is I 
lower my eyelashes onto the eye pencil. I don't close my eye all the way necessarily, but what I'm doing is I'm closing the eyelid onto the eye pencil, like that. And then I just rub the pencil gently underneath the eyelashes. I think I need my magnifying side here. Just in soft little motions. Okay, so I hope you could see that. I was, like I said, I closed my eyelid gently onto the eye pencil, and then I just rubbed the eye pencil gently back and forth. I didn't, you know, push hard. This does, it is creamy, and it does deposit pigment pretty easily. And so I hope you can see the difference between the tight line and the not tight line. And I would consider this to be a light, medium, tight line layer. I didn't, you know, apply a ton of pigment, but I did apply enough pigment to make a difference. Now, the other thing with tight lining is I don't always go into that inner corner. I sort of end where my upper eyelashes end usually. If I'm going for a very dramatic eye, I might go further into the inner corner. And as far as the outer corner, I don't follow all the way down to the corner. I sort of end a millimeter or two before the end of the corner. If I were to follow the tight line all the way down, that may drag my eye down. But by ending a millimeter or two away from the corner, it again sort of gives the eye a lift. Now the other thing with tight lining, if I wanna go in a little bit more dramatically, is in addition to applying it to the waterline or that mucocutaneous border, sometimes I will scrub it in between the eyelashes like this. Same process, close the eye onto the pencil and focus a little bit in between the eyelashes, not on top of the eyelashes, but just sort of scrub it in between the eyelashes. And again, that will give more definition to that lash line. So this is the tight lining I do basically every day. On more natural days, I will apply it more lightly. On more dramatic days, I will go in a little bit more heavy, but I do this almost every day. Upper lash line only, I usually don't tight line the lower lash line. Some ladies do, I personally don't. I'm going to go off camera, finish up my mascara, and we will come back with some final thoughts. All right, I am back. Mascara is on. I just wanted to give you another look at the tight line and the mascara. And I hope you can see that the tight line worked synergistically with the mascara to make my eyes more defined, to make the eyelashes look a little bit thicker. And that is why I love to tight line. Once again, I personally did find tight lining to be a pretty challenging technique to master. And that's one of the reasons I want to come on here and share some of the tips and tricks and techniques that I have learned over the years. It does take some practice, but in the end, it does get easier. So don't be discouraged. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. And if you did, please throw this video a thumbs up. That really, really helps support my channel and I very, very much appreciate it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I can't tell you how much I really, really appreciate the time that you spent with me. I hope you have a beautiful day and a wonderful week. I look forward to visiting with you in the comments section and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you, bye. Why tight line? What are the benefits of pre mm. Hello, hello. <sighs> The pros and the cons, okay, I gotta look there, not there. <sighs> that is taking up, so when I apply, so, so I feel like when I apply, I think I need to adjust my light, I'm losing my sunlight. Should I brighten it up? Where did the sun go?